On a seemingly ordinary night in March 2023, tragedy struck off the coast of Jervis Bay, Australia. An MRH-90 Taipan helicopter plunged into the ocean during a routine training exercise. The investigation unveiled shocking revelations, exposing a pattern of negligence. The findings forced a complete overhaul of the Australian Defence Force's approach to aircraft safety. The Jervis Bay helicopter crash investigation focused on engine failure. The MRH-90 Taipan had a history of engine issues. Maintenance records showed recurring problems. Outdated blades worsened the situation. Faulty engines and outdated blades led to disaster. The shocking revelations of the Jervis Bay helicopter crash investigation sent ripples of anger throughout Australia. Senator Malcolm Roberts, a staunch advocate for government transparency, was appalled by the findings. He demanded immediate action and a complete overhaul of the military's processes. His pleas for accountability resonated with the Australian public. The final moments of the MRH-90 Taipan helicopter at Jervis Bay showcased the pilot's skill and bravery. As the engine failed, they fought to regain control of the descending aircraft. Despite their efforts, the helicopter crashed into the ocean. The Jervis Bay helicopter crash sent shockwaves through Australia, prompting an immediate grounding of the entire MRH-90 Taipan fleet. The Australian Defence Force faced mounting pressure to address safety concerns. Tragically, the Jervis Bay crash was not an isolated incident. Another MRH-90 Taipan helicopter crashed off the coast of Queensland. This second crash resulted in the loss of four more personnel. The decision was made to retire the entire Taipan fleet. In the wake of the Jervis Bay helicopter crash, a comprehensive review of the Australian Defence Force's safety culture was undertaken. The goal was clear to prevent such tragedies from ever happening again. The review panel conducted a thorough analysis of the Defence Force's protocols. Their findings revealed systemic weaknesses. The panel issued 13 recommendations to overhaul safety. These covered maintenance, pilot training and safety oversight. The Defence Force committed to implementing all recommendations. The Jervis Bay helicopter crash stands as a stark reminder of the human cost of neglecting safety. It serves as a solemn tribute to the brave men and women who put their lives on the line every day. The crash exposed a culture where operational demands overshadowed safety concerns. The memory of those lost serves as a powerful motivator. It is a constant reminder that safety is an ongoing journey.